Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I'm going to be doing a breakdown today of Infant Annihilator, so I'm going to put a disclaimer right here. If you are of a nervous disposition, if like really, really, really effed up lyrics like offend you in any kind of way, if any kind of harm towards children offend you in any kind of way, click off this video now as this is going to be one of the most effed up things lyrically we've seen in quite a while on the channel, so still we're going to be doing the song Soil the Stillborn. And yeah, let's go. No, none of these views are my own. This is just the band trying to be as shocking and as fucked up as they possibly can. Like, I don't think they intend this seriously. This is all just for the sake of brutality. So, there we go. Oh, man, I forgot to put the video in the right quality. Oh, I see what you mean, the drums are crazy, isn't it? Whoa, this is almost tetanus. Like, technical deathcore, man, don't. Why, man? How is Dicky that clear? You hear how low he is, right? But his vocals are hundred percent clear. Like you know, you can literally understand every single word. It's literally crazy. Like I know Dicky is like you know one of the godfathers of deathcore. Don't get me wrong, but still, mate, like that's still insanity to me. Like Dicky's vocals are ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Let's go into this. It's gonna be kind of disgusting, but still. Lifeless little creatures prepared for the priest. That's kind of fucked up, but kind of true at the same time. Kind of, kind of true. Um, torn from the womb and then seduced and consumed. So, yeah. Like, torn from the womb and then, obviously, yeah, and then eaten, basically. So, the stillborn. So, like, as then, you, uh, then it's going through their body and coming out to the side, and that's what it means. They're going to, like, like, force them to be born, mutilate them, and just eat them, and then shit them back out again. Because why not, I guess? Harvested for pleasure and greed, punctured the lungs of every being under three years of age. Twisted experiments to separate souls from flesh in an effort to dine upon what the Lord had blessed. I love how they're just throwing a little bit of Christianity into there, because why the hell not? That's totally like linking into the new film we did a bit earlier. But still, like, yes. Like, I guess if you were like a race of creatures wanting to take over the earth, like you would use humans as playthings, they would be like pets to you. But if you're that kind of race which is into war and very, very effed up things, you would totally just mutilate them any way you could. The way to hurt them at the most deepest, most like unnaturous level, trying to rip their souls away from their body in a sense. We'll find a way to rape your spirit and implant my seed. Deep in the ether, I shall forge a paradise of death and despair. So it's not even in life, man. They're just going into the afterlife and just literally destroying every semblance of hope imaginable. Uh, gigantic monuments that touch the clouds deliciously depict the paedophilic, necrophilic lust to force myself inside fallen, fallen children. I am a divine, ch child defiler, inc incestuous preaching liar. I, I will define... Like, no, this is totally about priests, isn't it? It's very much about the ca the Catholic Church and about sodomy and that in general. This is even, is, isn't even about that. This is totally about wanting to, like, desecrate them on that kind of a level, on that kind of a way. It's very, very true to real life, which is fair. I think if things are true to real life, then they have, then they're allowed to be said in music because... How else are you going to be able to, to explain this in like a way that's understandable without it? Like trying to talk about this gets you like instantly demonetized and like kicked off things and doing it this way. It's art in a sense. Like it's fucked up, but it's still like truthful and art and stuff. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it's going even crazy lyrically, man. What the fuck? Damn, okay. Fucking hell, man. Wow. This, this depiction is perfect, though, to be fair with you, man. Yeah, very much about Christianity and the Jewish church. And, yeah, I, 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 I've never heard it, but... Uh, yeah, they're going hard, man. They're going proper to it. I love that technical fucking death call with mom. That's like the most perfect place to put it, but still not. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna pause it again. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Dickie is going ridiculously hard, man. Like, I love Dickie so much. He's such a great vocalist. The whole band is absolutely, like, top level, top tier, god tier. Whichever way you want to put them, man, regardless of the lyrics. And yeah, I, I will define fear and all that is unholy. The nursery is dimly lit as I now lurk among the cribs. The medical charts like paper tombstones. So yeah, he's like walking through a hospital or whichever way. Or like, it depends what age we're in. Because in like the older ages, like, like a lot of the children were kept in the church in order to keep them safe. Like in like, in, like past ages gone. Like being like, um, somebody in the church was like, like almost like being nobility in a sense, which is absolutely disgusting in my opinion. And yeah, like the medical charts, like, oh, so what's this one, what's this one, what's this one? And then finding that perfect one in order to encapsulate the fucked up, Chris all of the fucked up person's desires. The cradle calls me in. As I mount the bassinet, my erupts insanity. That's such a weird way to describe that, man. Like, it erupts insanity, like, yeah. Insanity because of the waste thinking rather than anything else, I'm assuming. My vision's impure, the infantile features beckon to me. As I, I feel the immature soul leave through me, I remove myself. Her dead flesh is still sweating as I dig out her infantile intestines. Like, yeah. She's totally, or he's totally, just desecrating, doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. Like, not, there's no accountability here. That's just doing what he does because being in that kind of role in the church is just a way to get closer to that. Like, we've seen it time and time and time again. And, there's, and we don't stop it. We don't do anything about it. We don't even... Like, we don't even put them in prison, they just get, like, bailed out because, like, the churches and the Vatican has so much money that it's impossible to even hold these people accountable anymore, which is disgusting. And I believe that religion should just be scrapped if there's even a glimmer of this in it, which, generally speaking, most religions already have a lot of this. Uh, Peter Falls draped in holy robes. I agree with that. Stillborn, child, limp and broken. Men of Christ believe in proph prophecies from a book of lies. And then, yeah, they obviously do those words there. So, craziness. Like, I agree. Like, why are they doing all these things? Why did they believe a book of lies where... Obviously, we saw with Nathal earlier that there's parts of it that, like, give away your infant children, death, like, like, baptize them and kill them, like... It's a very similar thing, like, it's very similar, like, vocal or lyrical styles, and it's disgusting, but, like I said, man, it's facts, it's just straight facts at the end of it. I know. Infant Annihilator's crazy lyrically, unfortunately. Had no right to go as hard as it did, man. Well, damn. Man, that drum style, man, fuck. That speed was next level, man. I don't even want to break that down, man, but whatever.
Oh, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Holy shit, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. I wasn't expecting that end. That end was crazy. Since it was already brutal as it was, man. That end had no right to go as fucking ridiculously hard as that did. Um, yeah, craziness. Fucking hell. Um, okay, let's go through the last bit. Unjustified mistreating, relentless bleeding, and anal seeping. Like, yeah, that kind of self-explanatory, right? Uh, did that did that. Fucked in the name of God. The cradle rocks as the wood begins to splinter. And then obviously we have this, these two lines, which I am not reading, which I'm not reading out loud for obvious reasons. And yeah, we get the idea. Like it's about people of the cloth or however you want to describe them. Fucked up individuals. Like not every person in religion is like, is like this, but the small percentage who are deserve to be killed in any kind of way. It doesn't really matter. Like if you're convicted of it, if it's proven, if there's no shadow of a doubt, you deserve everything that happens to you. You deserve to burn and suffer and all those things, but... At the end of the day, they won't pay for their crimes because that's not how how religion works. Religion's based on money on money nowadays, and the amount of people who give money to religion is absolutely insane. Like I've seen, there's just mega churches in the US where the pastors have like massive mansions that that they live in. It's just it makes me sick, man. Just knowing that like what has been caused from religion not just this but also like the crusades and everything else back in the day just like so much stuff but still i'm talking way so much i hope you guys enjoyed this was crazily effed up but absolutely brutal and amazing at the same time and have a wonderful day even the night and i will catch you guys in the next one take it easy